Welcome back. We have seen the impacts of wildfires here in the Pacific Northwest and experts forecast they'll be larger and more powerful as the climate continues to warm. Now new research shows thinning the forest and setting those prescribed burns really does make a difference. Kitley Chalmers explains. What we saw last year in Oregon, according to scientists, will only get worse. Massive wildfires will get even bigger, burning even more. But new research out of Oregon State University suggests just thinning the forest can go a long way to calming the flames. This study shows that fuel reduction thinning to moderate fire behavior, it works. James Under Johnston is a forest ecologist at Oregon fire. State. Well, communities in the western United States are behind the eight ball when it comes to fire. So he and a team of researchers are trying to get us caught up. Their research focused on a ponderosa pine forest in northeast Oregon. They compared thinned stands of trees with unthinned control stands and used computer modeling to predict the behavior of future fires. They found... Most fuel reduction projects in eastern Oregon thin from below. They cut down the smaller trees and leave the old, large, fire-resistant trees. They leave behind a forest that's less dense. And our studies show it has less, less fuel to burn in future fires. Add to that some prescribed burning, Johnston says even better. The only way to fight fire is with more fire. While thinning alone will go a long way to reducing wildfires, Johnston says his research showed prescribed burning helps get rid of a lot of the fuel the fires need. But he says those controlled burns are not happening nearly as much as they should. We're seeing more and more uncontrolled wildfire, but the amount of prescribed fire, that is fires that we set to reduce surface fuels under moderate weather conditions, has remained flat for more than 20 years. Johnson says the investment by Congress to better manage our country's forests is paying off. But as our climate continues to warm and the wildfire threat grows, we need to do a lot more. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.